We keep hearing rumours that Alex Kurtzman is going to be fired from the Star Trek franchise. I've done videos in the past explaining why that's not really how this works. But the rumours continue. Welcome to Sidetrack, your sci-fi TV and movie channel. So, first of all, I'm going to explain why Alex Kurtzman can't be fired from the Star Trek franchise. Because he doesn't actually work for Paramount. I know, that's confusing. He works for his production company called Secret Hideout. Paramount have a contract with him to develop and produce Star Trek for them. And Paramount also has first dibs on anything non-Star Trek that Secret Hideout then produces. So, you can't fire somebody that doesn't technically work for you. But what you can do is cancel the contract so they are no longer making Star Trek for you. Now, I think that's what a lot of people mean when they're talking about Alex Kurtzman getting fired. They're on about actually Secret Hideout being pushed out the door and CBS bringing Star Trek back in-house. But are there rumours to suggest that's exactly what Paramount and CBS are maybe planning to do? Well, as you know from my previous video, if you watched it, if not, there's a link in the description, that actually I've been talking to quite a high up executive -y person at CBS and Paramount. And this source has been telling me that there is a lot of internal conversations about Star Trek at the moment. I actually think that these conversations just make sense because Star Trek, even though it is popular, has divided a lot of opinion. There are a lot of fans that really really don't like what Alex Kurtzman has done with Star Trek. If you actually check the comments of any Star Trek video I've ever done, you will see dozens of comments that are very, very angry towards the Alex Kurtzman era. And Paramount, no. They see all of this controversy and they wonder if actually Alex Kurtzman is the person to move forwards with Star Trek. Now, they have, over the last couple of years, tried to bring back more original sort of Trek. Picard season three is the perfect example of that. And it was the most popular Star Trek show that they've made. And Paramount really noticed. So there's been a lot of pressure on Alex Kurtzman to remove some of the ideas and some of the things that he's been putting into Star Trek previously, stuff that he really brought in from the J.J. Abrams' bad robot era of movies, and to go back to something more original, something that Trekkies will actually recognise. Now, at the moment, Secret Hideout has this contract with Paramount, and as I said, that actually runs through currently till 2016. Now that the strikes are going, Alex Kurtzman has approached Paramount and CBS Studios and he wanted to basically begin conversations on renewing those contracts. That is going to be really important for him because he's got things like Star Trek Academy, Star Trek 90210 coming up, which won't even be starting now till next year, 2015, 12 months within when the contract is currently supposed to end. We've also got the Michelle Yeoh movie that even though will be produced within the next 12 months, probably again won't be on our screens until the end of next year. They are very interested in potentially moving forward to Star Trek Legacy. And even though a lot of these projects are up in the air, as far as Secret Hideout are aware, they're all moving forwards. So they would like a new contract. Please, thank you very much. The problem is my source is telling me that Paramount are dragging their feet, that they're not actually very interested in going forwards with a contract extension at the moment. Apparently, formally, they are saying that they don't believe contract extension conversations right now is appropriate, and they're using the strikes as that excuse. But internally, the conversation is that actually they would rather not have the conversation with Alex Kurtzman right now because they're not sure they want to extend the contract. They're not sure that they want to go beyond the current license agreement. At the end of 2016, all of the rights for the movies and TV shows, everything will return back to Paramount. They've licensed a lot of this stuff out. And even though Paramount still own the IP, and still can actually tell Alex Kurtzman and Secret Hideout what to do or what not to do, 
there is a lot of creative freedom involved that Seagra Hideout control because of those contracts. And the simplest way for Paramount and the cheapest way for Paramount to bring Star Trek back in-house is just to allow those contracts to run out. Secret Hideout would no longer be the producer of Star Trek and Paramount could either look for a new partner or bring it back in-house and start producing Star Trek themselves. Now, I'm not 100% certain which plan they are actually planning to go with because I don't think they know. All I know is from my sources at Paramount, and again, this source is in a very prominent position. I have been able to vet him. I do know he is who he says he is, and I do know he's in the position to actually be in, not only know about these conversations, but actually be involved in them. And it does seem that Paramount are very, very interested in the possibility of cutting Alex Kurtzman out of the Star Trek franchise. And I would love to know exactly what you think about that prospect, because it would mean potentially a very different Star Trek in the future. It could mean that we return to a Star Trek we find more familiar, maybe return into a Star Trek a little bit more like Picard season three. Maybe this is how we get Star Trek a legacy, because Terry Metalis that wrote and created and showrun Picard season three isn't actually attached to secret hideout right now perhaps paramount could actually bring him in immediately as soon as these contracts lapse and tell him to crack on with star trek legacy now that would be very very interesting prospect for a lot of star trek fans it would mean potentially the end of things like strange new worlds and star trek academy maybe even lower decks and prodigy even though prodigy's future is in doubt anyway but if that meant a better Star Trek future, would you be on board? And also tell me exactly what you think about Paramount's internal conversations. Are they sensible or is this not the time? Get into the comments and tell me exactly what you think. If you are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It really helps us out and you'll never miss any of our new videos. Also, you can go to patreon.com forward slash sidetrack where most of our new videos appear first. And you get to see them without the adverts. And for a small contribution each month that really supports the channel, you even get a free gift. Can't say fairer than that. Also, please go and check out sidetrack.co.uk, which is our dedicated website where stories from most of our videos appear. As always, please stay safe and I'll see you next time.